How to sell tickets on Square. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to do so. Uh, Square does actually make it very easy and simple to do. So let's just go ahead and get to it. Because you, usually you're going to have two different categories when it comes to products, either physical uh, or digital. But then Square also gives you more options, including uh, events or tickets, we should actually say. Uh, now, uh, really, all you need to do is just go ahead and go to your squareup.com and log into your account. Just go to my account on the top right once you do so and click on dashboard. And once we open up our dashboard, we can just go ahead and talk about how to add these uh, tickets as part of our products or, you know, sell them basically. Um, <clears throat> so let's just go ahead and get started. So first, once this opens up for you, what you need to do is just go to your items. This is pretty much, you know, your products, everything that you're going to be selling is within the items uh, section. So click on the items section. Let's wait for it to load. Okay, great. So once you open this up, if you already did add a few items, they're going to be listed in here, but this is not going to matter. Basically, all we need to do is just click on create item on the top right. So once you click on create item, this menu should pop up here for you. Uh, and the most important thing here is that when we go to the details section, we really just want to go to the item type and change it. So it is event. As you can see here, events is sell tickets to events and include location address as well as times. So just go and select this one and you can actually see the different types of uh, things that they have, physical good, prepared food and beverage, digital donation. So you can actually see Square does actually have a lot of uh, different options here to choose from. But anyways, for tickets, you just want to go for event and click on change, which is also going to change a lot of the stuff that we can adjust down there. Okay, so uh, now that we did that, we can just go ahead and get started with the, you know, basics. So we can just start with the name. So we can just go ahead and give it test tickets. And then the description obviously would want to go ahead and type out a description that is suitable for the, for the type of event that you're hosting or you're going to sell these tickets for. So just go ahead and let them know exactly what you need uh, them to know. Now, once you do that, you can feel free to upload an image or not, or you can just go ahead and give it a little uh, color here uh, and, you know, initials, if that's what you prefer. It's completely up to you. If you want to upload an image, just click on upload and you will get uh, your computer here and you can just feel free to upload really whatever you want. Now, if we scroll down, we can add a category if you want, but we can just go and skip. Uh, that for the time being go to the event details here. So for the event details here, you can actually go ahead and select the different types of addresses, location times, uh, and all of these things. So we are, we can just go and start with the location type. So whether it's going to be in person or online, so whether it's going to be an online meeting or in person. Now, obviously in person, you will need to provide the location. If it's online, you will need to also provide the event link. So I'm just going to go ahead and do google.com, for example. I don't really have an event here, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, time and date, obviously, you would want to select the start date and also the start time and end date and also the end time. So just everybody has an idea of when to attend and when uh, it's actually going to be over. And then we also need to set up the time zone that this is going to be set up for. So if you're in uh, uh, Dubai, you would need to set it up to be in Dubai. And you get the idea. So here you can, you know, you're pretty much done here. You can also add some SKU uh, ver variations and stuff, but usually it's a ticket, so you really don't need anything. And you can just go and click on save on the top right. And it's going to be visible for your uh, customers. Anybody who wants to buy a ticket will be able to do so, and they will know exactly where to go or where to join. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful, and thanks for watching.